guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with another historical romance video because the historical romance readathon is coming up, and I said I was going to do this. It is my TBR for 2021 of historical romance series I want to get to. I asked on Instagram if you guys had any recommendations that I took from there and that I took from my own TBR. I do want to show you my sweatshirt. It is new. I'll link the Etsy shop down below. I bought it. It says, when Fabio is on the cover, let me ignore my Christmas pajama pants I wear all the time. When Fabio is on the cover you know it's going to be a good romance novel. I'm pretty sure that's what it says. No, yep. So I, I had to buy it in pink because it's fabulous and I love it and I wanted it. I bought it with my own money and I'm excited to have it. So I'll link the Etsy shop down below if you are interested and I just like the pink and the, and the purple. I love those colors together. I'm going to post a combination of that on my Instagram soon of spines of those colors because it's just pretty and pink's my favorite color. So I'm here though with the 13 series I want to read in 2021 and I'm obviously going to read more than this and a lot of them are pretty short except for one is like 20 books long and I'm not going to read the entire series but my goal is to read all these entire series. Some of them are authors I love, some of them are new to be authors and some of them were recommendations from you guys. So I'll go ahead and get to them. The first one is an author that I read one book from and absolutely adored. It was The Secret. So I really want to read The Crown's Spies series by Julie Garwood. The first one is The Lion's Lady and then we have Guardian Angel, The Gift, and Castles and I own all four of those. I'm especially excited for The Gift because it is a pirate romance. This one I don't really know what it is about about the it just says it's a thrilling tale of reckless romance and soaring passion and it just says so they have secrets they really like each other. So that's all I really know. She can't love him and I do own this copy. I really want the one that's actually like reflective gold. I don't have that one yet but I want to. She has the most gorgeous covers Julie Garwood does and I really want to read more of hers. I do have to read Ransom. I'm going to read that this year too because that's book two to The Secret but I've already read one book and I didn't want to put a series on here of two books where I've read one book. That feels like cheating. So I'm going to read this series and I'm very excited. Then I want to read the Essex Sister series by Eloisa James. The first one is Much Ado About You and it's it's about sisters and so it says that they're orphaned and she has a duty to marry well, marry quickly, and then so she can arrange the marriages of her three sisters. So that sounds fun. We have Tess, Annabelle, Imogen, and Josie. I guess she had a hair, uh, fiance and he ran away. She's contemplating marrying one of London's most infamous rakes. So I love a good rake romance and I'm excited to read a series about sisters, so I can't wait. Okay, sorry if I've moved a little bit. I forgot I own this one, so I needed to grab it. And that is the Hathaway series by Lisa Kleypas is the next series. Mine Till Midnight is the first one. We've got a pretty step back there. And I've heard really mixed things about this. I think someone's book club last year read this book particularly and didn't enjoy it, but I've heard people rave about it. I'm pretty sure these are about siblings as well, and this one, she inherits something that elevates her family to the ranks of aristocracy, so she has to enter society, and she doesn't like it because she just has to raise all of her siblings, I guess, and then she's really attracted to tall, dark, and dangerously handsome Cam Rohan, so I'm excited to read this first one. I hope it's really good. I think there are four books in this series to read. The next one is one that's very long. This one says it's 20 books long and I or like 25 books long. Let me know if you know how long the series actually is and what I should read up to. That is the Sinster series by Stephanie Lawrence. She also has another series that's really long and well known but I want to read this one. I got the first six in a lot on eBay so I definitely want to read at least the first six of them and in this one his name is Devil and he ends up being found in a compromising position with a governess and shocks everyone by proposing marriage and they get married and the back of this says was he the husband of her dreams or a devil in disguise. So this one sounds really fun. I don't know how many I'm going to read actually of this series but definitely the first six I want to read this year and I'm just obsessed with the covers. I got the original of the first six so I do know she has other series that are really popular but they're all really long but I really want to try her. My half price books had like two full shelves of her books. I only bought two at half price books so I got six on eBay but we'll see if I like Stephanie Lawrence. The next one literally sounds like the synopsis of the book I'm reading right now on audio. So the next series is the Sinful Wallflower series by Stacey Reed. The second book just came out, so there's only two books in the series. The second cover is gorgeous. This is My Darling Duke. I just got this from Half Price Books because I knew I wanted to read this series, and my Half Price Books had it. And this one, it sounds exactly like The Wicked Wallflower by Maya Rodale, which I'm reading on audio right now. She's a wallflower, and her family's now on the brink of financial ruin, so she's a desperate wallflower now. And to save herself, she decides to announce an engagement with this duke who hasn't been seen in years and I think he like shows up and he's like hey are we engaged literally in the the 
Wicked Wallflower, she writes an announcement that she's engaged to the Duke and it gets put in the paper. So, and then they start fake dating. I don't know what they'll do in this one, but it sounds really good. I'm just obsessed with the cover of the second one and I know it's been going around Instagram a lot. So hopefully I enjoy these two. Two books in a series I can do. Okay, I knew this existed and I didn't know what it was. It is a retelling of While You Were Sleeping, which is one of the best Sandra Bullock movies of all time. I just watched it for Christmas. I didn't realize this was the one that was based on that. So it is While the Duke Was Sleeping. This is part of the Rogue File series by Sophie Jordan. I really want to read the entire series. I've read one book from the series and I own like four I think from the series but there are seven in there. This one is While You Were Sleeping. The premise of that. So she's a shop girl and she really likes the Duke. She like fantasizes about him. He's about to get run down by a carriage. She saves him. He's put in a coma and she is mistakenly taken to be his fiance, which is literally the premise of While You Were Sleeping. I'm excited to read a historical rendition of that. I don't know what the rest are about. This god of mine I absolutely loved in the series, so I'm excited to read this entire series this year. Next, a lot of people recommended me to read the Wicked Wallflower series by Christy Caldwell. I think that's a popular alliteration title. And this first one is The Hellion. I think these are indie published. It might be just a small publishing company or they're indie published. So this one is uh, two rivals meet in the flesh and feel the heat. I think they're rivals. He wanted to have a gaming hell and like she's a reason why his dream didn't come true. I know people love this series. There's only five in the series. It, they did have it on eBay but it was like $35 and I don't know if I want to buy the whole series for that much but they are indie published. They're like actual paperback sizes, so I might buy them. I don't know, but I really want to read the series. Then someone recommended the Night Miscellany series by Galen Foley. I've never read a book by this author before. I do own a couple, but the first one is The Duke, and this says that the Duke is trying to uncover the truth about the mysterious death of his lady love, and he engages in a scandalous affair with London's most provocative courtesan. So it is a courtesan romance. I'm excited for that. So this series is also seven books long, but someone recommended it, said it was amazing, so I put it on my list. Next, I really wanted to put a Sherry Thomas book on my list. So I went with the Fitzhugh trilogy, which is only three books. It's just a trilogy. And I know that Lacey's read them and she's given them at least the first one she gave four stars. I don't know if she gave another one. I think I tried listening to the London trilogy and I couldn't get into the first book so I didn't want to start with that. The first one is Beguiling the Beauty and I really love that title. I really love the covers of these and so this one is about a duke and he meets the mysterious baroness and he's fascinated. Ooh, he falls hard and fast and soon proposes marriage and then she disappears. And she's not actually a baroness. She is a proper young widow who had her own vengeful reasons for instigating an affair with the Duke. That sounds really fun. I don't know if she's a baroness or not. It says baroness in quotation marks, so I'm assuming that means she's not actually a baroness and she was lying to him. That sounds fabulous. I'm excited to read something from Sherry Thomas. I had to have a Highlander romance on here and Vanessa Kelly is someone that Jen from the book Refuge raves about so I have put the Clan Kendrick series on here. The first one on here is The Highlander Who Protected Me and this series is only four books long so it's not that long and this one says she is an heiress and darling of the ton and she is hiding in a remote Scottish estate terrified of her vicious former fiance. Oh, we'll use her pregnancy to force her into marriage. So he, she's pregnant. I don't know whose baby it is. Oh, I think I remember Jen talking about this one. It, she just did a Highlander romance recommendation video, so I'll link that down below. Only one man can help her. That is Royal Kendrick, son of a distinguished Highland clan. So then I think they fall in love. I'm excited to read Vanessa Kelly. I'm excited to have a Highlander romance series on this list. Then I really want to finish the Loyal League series by Alyssa Cole. I read the first one and absolutely loved it. It is a Civil War era kind of romance. And so the first one, they are undercover spies for the Union. And she was a former slave and goes undercover as a slave and falls for someone who was undercover trying to like court the daughter of the people that she works for. It was absolutely amazing and I actually realized I have book three and I forgot I didn't own book two so I need to buy book two so I can read the series. But I love Alyssa Cole so I'm excited to read these books. Then I really want to read the Brothers Sinister series by Courtney Milan. The first one is The Duchess War which I got for Christmas and I want to read the series because I've heard amazing things about Courtney Milan's historical romances. I've only read her contemporary so this one is the first book in the four book series. She's a wallflower. She doesn't want attention. A dude comes into town and she gets his attention which she doesn't want and I guess she has secrets and he is determined to figure them out. So I'm excited for this first one and I really want to read the rest of these books. The last 
last series I want to read is the Rules of Scoundrel series by Sarah McLean. The first one, I believe, is a rogue by any other name. This one has this pretty step back. I don't know. I think this one's the Hades and Persephone retelling, and there are four books in the series. I do own three of them, so I think I have to get the fourth one. I own the other two in the series. I think the judge a lady by her cover one is the fourth one but in this one the Marquess is cast from society with nothing but his title now he's a partner in London's most exclusive gaming hell and he will do whatever it takes to gain his inheritance including marrying uh, Lady Penelope and she had a broken engagement she has no interest in a quiet comfortable marriage she longs for something more and she has a new husband, and I guess it's him. I guess they're gonna get married. It says, how lucky that her new husband has access to an unexplored world of pleasures. So that's interesting. I don't know if it is Hades and Persephone's retelling. I'm pretty sure this one is, but I'm excited to read it. I really love Sarah McLean. I read her whole rules series. I don't remember what it's called, but it's the, like, nine rules to break. 10, I love by numbers maybe is what it's called, the 9, 10, 11 series. I really love that series, so I want to read more from Sarah McLean. And those are the historical romance series I want to read in 2021. Let me know if you've read any of these, what you want me to start with, what I should add. I would love to hear, and that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching, and have a good day. Bye.